So Tim Hecker visited Japan and recorded a series of live sessions with the Tokyo Kakuso Ensemble, and out of it came Kanoyo back in September, which was a bone-chilling, catastrophic ambient record that used all of these weeping hichiriki and ruteki flutes and fidgety drone layers and clattering percussion. And the way that it combined so many different emotions together was really gripping to me. Like, it felt very on edge, but there was also such a tangible sense of agony and bleakness to it. Now, at this point in Tim Hecker's career, it feels like the compositions he shapes are much more fidgety and restless in comparison with his earlier, more patient works like Radio Amora and Harmony and Ultraviolet. And I thought Kanoyo kind of took this to the extreme and was a little bit messy for it at parts. But the fact that it wandered relentlessly fit its striking emotional tone, so it didn't bother me too much. Similarly daunting atmospheres are evoked on Anoyo, and this time around the digital and traditional elements feel more seamlessly blended. But unfortunately, to me, this record on the whole feels a little bit more watered down. There aren't as many moments that stick with me or floor me as there were on Kanoyo, and despite the fact that it's more concise, it still manages to leave some inessential parts. For example, Not Alone doesn't seem to add much of anything to the track list other than using more menacing, growling bass, and it uses essentially the same percussive technique as Is But A Simulated Blur does, where the drums that boom, then cling, then clang in succession gradually get faster, and since it seems like such a crucial part of both songs, it is a little bit disappointing. I have a love-hate relationship with Into the Void. Um, on one hand, I like how that wobbly melody in the beginning half kind of like periodically slows down, almost feels like it's circling around you in a very dizzying way, but I don't necessarily think this song justified being here because it just reminded me of other more memorable moments I had already heard on Kanoyo or other parts of this album. But although Anoyo does seem to embody the aftermath of Kanoyo, sometimes it does reflect and expand on it effectively. Like, for example, how the first track takes the pluck drum pluck from across to Anoyo and weaves it into its composition, which is mostly dominated by all of these anguish flute layers and other moments that are particularly captivating to me are the flickering whirlwinds of that stringed instrument and the steady bass that feels like it's controlling all of this disarray. And the album does still have unique highs, like for example, the repetition of those two drones that can be heard buried in the mix in the beginning of You Never Were that later close it out in a way that feels like a somber lullaby before the end of the world just echoing out into oblivion. And I also really dig the sense in the middle portion that kind of quiver and scrape the track surface. And I also enjoy how Step Away from Kanoyo functions as a breather moment, guided by all of these slowly swelling drones whose detail patiently unfolds more and more. It's so rich in just lush sensation for it being so minimal in sound palette. So anyways, this isn't a bad record by any means. There's definitely no harm in checking it out. It's only 35 minutes. Um, I just personally feel like I've heard Tim Hecker put out more emotionally thrilling records in the past, and I slightly prefer Kanoyo, but I do still consider this to be a 7 out of 10. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks so much for watching my review. Uh, I hope you have a great day.